Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush, and today we're looking at the Roosterfish Brewing Company's Pale Ale. Now, Lush fans, this is a new one for me. I was out doing my research, saw this one, and picked it up. Now, I really didn't know much about the company. Now, come to find out, they are based in Watkins Glen, New York. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and Lush fans, that Watkins Glen. Now, I did a little bit more research on it, and I really couldn't find much other than they're up in other than the Finger, Finger Lake section of New York. But I was actually, if anything, curious just to see what they're all about. Now, um, I'm assuming that they don't do a lot of distribution down here in Ohio. Now, um, if you know, if they do, please let me know. Because I'm really interested so I can find more of their selection. Now, doing the research, according to their official webpage, it is a traditional English-style dry pale ale with pleasant maltiness and a flavorful hoppiness, a true beer drinker's dream. And for the record, the alcohol by volume is 5.7%, and the IBUs are 47. Not much really to say there, but we're going to give it a try right here, right now. Now, just taking a quick look at the bottle, um, let's see here. I'm just looking just to see if there's anything to drink by date, and I don't see much of anything on here. Even though I do, you probably can't see it here, but I do like the design of, you know, the printing on the bottle. I know that sounds really, really strange, but I like it. But, um, there's nothing on the cap also. Now, I popped this, and I noticed there was a lot of smoke coming off of this. And, as you can see, Lush fans, I didn't do anything. That head came out of that bottle immediately. Now, I don't know why... It does that, I mean, must be really, really, really fresh. And I'm just yapping here, just bear with me. So I'm going to take the pour. Now, I know I didn't pour that real quick, but Lush fans, it gave me a lot of head really fast. So it is very, very, very carbonated. And I apologize for that. You know, sometimes that just happens. You know, <sighs> I want to take a sip, and I, wow, now, I know this is not etiquette, but I'm going to, I'm going to take some of this head off, now, I know that some people can taste stuff in the head, I mean, I can too, but I'm not going to talk about it until I actually have some beverage in it. Now, I will say this right now, the head retention is really strong on this. It gave me a lot of head, as you can see. It's definitely white, so um, you definitely have that going for it so far. Now, to continue, I'm going to attempt to pour some more into this. There we go. Ah! I guess re this review just is going to have to live with the head coming out of the bottle just like that. Sorry, Lush fans. Sometimes... You just have bloopers. You just keep on rolling with it. Now, the head is really frothy. There's a lot of said retention. Now, I'm looking at the bottom of the glass. I really can't tell. There's really virtually no carbonation for the obvious reasons all in the head. Now, we are going to take a little sip of this only because I don't want this review to run very, very long waiting on this because I can already tell the head retention is going to be excellent on this. Take one more. Now what I can get out of the bottle, well, out of the glass, excuse me, it definitely tastes like a, like the advertisement said, of a traditional English style dry pale ale. It really, really does. Now, um, Honestly, it's actually nice, it's crisp, it's definitely dry. Um, I mean, it's not, at least in my eyes, very malty at all. Um, the malts are there, but not like that, that in-your-face maltiness. Now, some people like that, and some people don't, which I totally understand. Um... I'm 
trying to point pick out something here. But like, as far as the malt, I mean, it's your standard, yeah, standard, excuse me, English style malt, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, um, this is something to where I do recommend this if you can find it. Now, as far as rooster fish, I'm not totally sure. Like I said in the beginning of the video, as far as distribution, now I don't know. If they're bottling it themselves, let me take a look real quick before I say that. It says, well, let's see here before I say that. Do, 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 do. No, it says that they're doing their own self-bottling. So it says produced and bottled by the Rooster Fish Brewing Company. And it's located, just in case you go, at 111 North Franklin's, Franklin Street excuse me, in Watkins Glen, New York. And the zip code is 14891. And it said it's made with fresh... Seneca Lake Water and New York Northern, New York Northern, Northwestern Hop. Excuse me. Can't speak today all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on with that. Now, um, I'm going to try to get, well, I'm not going to touch the bottle. I'm going to try to get some more out of here. Then I'll give you my opinion on it. You know, this particular ale is as advertised. It's definitely... Like I said, a dry, a dry, pale ale. Now, the Lush does recommend this. Now, how many Chocoboos am I going to give it? It's, it's, it's a solid four. I'll, be, I'll admit it. It's a solid four. Now, the one thing that I, I do have to shy them for is all the head. Because we, I had head immediately come out of, the, out of the bottle. And a lot of people like that. Now, that's a sign to me personally. And let me know in the comments below what you think that it's absolutely fresh. And that's one good thing. Or it's overcarbonated. It's usually one of the two. And I think in this particular situation, it's showing that it's fresh. Not the, not the other way around that it's, it's overcarbonated. Um, I mean, there's really not much else to say. Maybe I should have picked a better glass than this one. All this, oh man, all this head is everywhere. And yes, I know, I'm, I can devolve in that 12-year-old, you know, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to have a nice, good, honest review on this, which I did. Now, um, I'm going to stop yapping. So everybody know, this is the Rooster Fish Brewing Company's Pale Ale. And stay tuned for the next edition of Lance the Lush.